Hi, today I would like to take you all through a small introduction about the Sophos Certified Engineer XG Firewall version 18.0. I'm just taking this, I'm just creating this video after I have gone through most of the videos about the Sophos Firewall, I mean Sophos XG Firewall in the YouTube and I find that yeah, there are a lot of videos which explaining very clear and precise which help us to understand Learn and configure it very good way, but still You know, I'm just working in some MNC Infrastructure and sometimes I find uh, some problems and when I search in the Google or YouTube I could not find the what is the answer for that and you know the guys who are working in the infrastructure they must find the solution as quickly as possible and I think maybe I can help them out not only the experienced ones the ones who try to learn the Sophos firewall how can configure how to install how to implement the rules uh, and the other configurations maybe I can help them out to find a quicker solutions when they stuck with some kind of problem and uh, maybe I already experienced it earlier so this ex this this video course I not mean for giving a complete training on the guys who are experienced and it's more than that I just want to give a pure training or giving a support for the guys who starting the XG firewall also the people who are facing some kind of problems while configuring or implementing rule kind kind of stuff so this is the latest version i would like to talk about is the xg firewall version 18.0 which is currently released to the market so you can maybe a lot of people is already aware about the software's product because it's not a new one but still maybe i can help them out i think so who am I and what am I is not so important but I because I think the people are not much careful care care about that like who is giving us the solution or how I can instead of how I can find the solution so I just keep it myself as what you can see here the same it's not important I think so in through this course I would like to introduce about the XG firewall overview getting started with the XG firewall kind of deployment solutions how you can deploy how you can basically configure the firewall and later on to the network protections side to side connections such as the VPN authentication web protection application control email protection remote access wireless protection logging and reporting and finally the central management now if we talk about what is XG Firewall, I think there is no a definite definition for what is XG Firewall because different people have different different definitions. But we I just want to showcase you something about what's new in the version 18. Like it's just like a next generation firewall and more visibility, more protection and a quick response time and all-in-one protection. It's a consolidated, simplified and everything's can be managed from a single console school protection and the new thing which is um, more improved in the version 18 is the SD1 configurations we can talk it about in detail later on another video and end endpoint integration and public cloud like you can you can protect the Azure and other kind of hybrid cloud infrastructure using the XG firewall okay now Maybe the people who are already working with the infrastructure area, they, they prefer to use the hardware models and the people and who are just want to learn. Uh, we don't have access to the hardware models. So we will work it on the virtual machines such as uh, VMware or hypervisor, whatever it is. So you know that Sophos firewall can be deployed in four ways. One is the hardware. You have more visibility protection and response because it's it's on hand it's very handy than compared to other another you can install the software virtual machines and finally the cloud 
you can see as a hardware device Sophos XG devices come preloaded and ready to go like it's already the Sophos OS will be inside you just need to plug it and start then start configure manage and finally the deploy another is the software version of the Sophos firewall which is compatible for the Intel compatible hardware and as a virtual device running on the most common hypervisors including VMware, Citrix, Microsoft Hyper-V and the KVM and finally the XG firewall can be deployed into the cloud on Azure and soon it will be, it will be available for the AWS services. However, you choose to deploy XG Firewall, it uses the same software and provides the same functionality regardless of form factor. Only you, what is the difference for different model or different option is like if you select higher models, you will get more, more features, more granular control on your network and the lower models have less subscription or whatever, the less, less control on your network. This can be anytime once you purchase the lower lower model, you can anytime can be upgrade or you can you can subscribe for the new new options which is available in the market. So the supported virtualization platforms, software support for Hyper V, and this is purely talking about the production environment. You can install Hyper V on Windows Server 2016, 12R2, and 8R2, and the KVM, which support for the CentOS 7.4 or higher. VMware is ESXi 6.50 or higher, and Sensorver, Citrix Sensorver, it will be Zen Server 7.3 or higher. And the more information you can find on the KB article 132088. But you know, when we are doing the lab environment, we can just install a Hyper-V or, or any VMware, VMware for your computer like Windows 7 or if it's a Mac, you can use a VMware Fusion and you can con install and set up in the lab environment, which I can show you. I, I can install it on a VMware Fusion and I will let you, I will show you how to configure it on the VMware Fusion for the basic, basic use. A Sophos firewall can be installed or deployed in a network in different ways or you can call it as common deployment scenarios. There are three types of scenarios which can be used to implement Sophos firewall on your network. The first one is called the gateway mode. As you see in the gateway mode the device is directly connected to the internet through the, through the WAN zone or WAN zone is nothing but it's just connected you you have the WAN zone have the internet IP I mean the static IP address which you can access your firewall through internet or the LAN network or the local network can access the internet through this port and it's not like one firewall have only one port you can have multiple port and connected with multiple WAN IP address and assigned to the WAN zone so here in the gateway mode this is the normal structure that the device will be connected to internet directly I mean there is no another device up on your firewall and the LAN zone and the DMZ zone will be connected to the firewall and the firewall will be to the core routing process so that the internet network can communicate each other and it, uh, the traffic goes to LAN zone and the DMZ zone will be protected by the firewall and this scenario we will use for our practical purpose or you can say because we are not connecting to the van ip but we will use this method as the gateway mode we will use for our practical sessions in later on another is called the bridge mode that means the the software firewall will be installed just behind your existing firewall it might be a Cisco firewall, a Juniper, a checkpoint, whatever it may be. It doesn't matter because the softwares have interoperability with other vendors. So there is not a problem to connect your software firewall in bridge mode. The bridge mode is also called as transparent mode or inline mode. With advanced feature like all the traffics come from your existing firewall will be traveled through your software firewall. And the client who is inside the software firewall may be not ever like they are connected to software's firewall. And the traffic between DMC zone and LAN zone will be routed through the software's firewall and uh, there is more control and more, more visibility for the software's firewall to on the traffic 
and it will be improved with the synchronized security, intrusion prevention, ATP or advanced threat prevention, uh, protection, and it will bridge the LAN and DMC zone. And the last one that's called the discover mode. A discover mode is not a protection implementation, then it's just used for to show the capability of Sophos Firewall, your customer. You can call it like a POC. You can you will the 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 Sophos firewall will be connected directly to the call switch just behind your firewall, and a port will be mirrored so that all the traffic from the switch will be copied. Also, a copy will be go to the Sophos firewall, and all the traffic can be monitored. But there is no action taken; it's just only the monitoring. So you you can you can. After the monitoring, you can generate a report and you can hand over your customer to say oh, what all the problems are in the network, what kind of traffic is going through the firewall and what are the improve improvements you must make to protect your network more safe. So discover mode is not considered as a production implementation, rather it's just only a point of concept or what you, what you call it, like only for testing or just uh, make your network to un like you can use it for understand your network problems now we will directly go to deployment and setup because I don't want to give you more explanation like uh, what are the new features in included because this all you can find over the internet and the guys who are interested to know more about like what are the new features with the old feature hold old version and new version you please go to google it and find it like what are the differences and what are the improvements so i'm just want to give more lab information like how you can implement how you can configure and while configuring what kind of troubles you may be face and how you can overcome it in a quick way because when I, I try to do it, I, I've met a lot of problems and I spend my whole lot of time on the KB articles. And finally, somehow sort it out all. And I want to tell you guys that I'm not a very expert on this Sophos firewall. I can say I'm also learning. But yeah, I've worked on it for quite a long time. And maybe I can help you with all your queries later on. So in the deployment setup, you can see this is a general picturization for your hardware firewall. You can see there are many ports available. And when it's a, if it's a hardware firewall, uh, it, it, there is, will be a marking for LAN and WAN. And if it's a software firewall, the first two ports will be one is for LAN and the second port is usually assigned for the WAN, WAN interface. So the LAN interface, the, depo the default LAN port to connect for initial configuration, like if you want to access your firewall for the first time, you must connect your uh, device to, or your computer to the LAN port, or you can use your you can use use your cable to connect your switch and change the IP address. But the the first thing first thing you want to do is you first connect your computer directly to the LAN port and assign the same range IP address and you have to complete the initial configuration and later connect on your LAN and you can change IP address. The second port is a WAN, the default WAN port. A different port can be selected in the initial setup wizard. You can change it after all once you have completed your initial configuration. And you can also connect to the device using SSH or console. And you just be, be careful about the baud rate or speed is 38,400 instead of the 9,600 9, in Cisco devices. And just, just data bits is eight and stop it's one, parity and flow control, none or zero. And this is just after the firewall is booted and you provide your username and password for the first time. The default username and password is admin. Admin. Once you provide the username and password, it will be logged into the SFOIS latest version is 18.0. And you can see like this device activation. Device activation is nothing but you just provide your CDL number and activate your device on your Sofa Central account. 
if it's a hardware device just license key and the serial number everything will be auto added and once you log into your software account if, if you can access the internet after providing your internet IP address it will be directed to uh, so for the account and synchronized to your license configuration everything there you can change your default login username and password after access the first time yeah this is the screen this is your web admin access using your computer once connected to the device the default IP address should be 172.16.16.16 just what, what you need to do is just assign the same range of IP address on your laptop and connect it to the LAN port and access the page using HTTPS device IP I mean 172.16.16.16 colon 444 this is the this is the port which you want to access the Sophos firewall and here I'm going to talk about something you will ask you will face later on like you may be this you just access you just uh, can uh, access the device and you provide the IP address for initial time and uh, you change your uh, and you change your IP address match for your LAN and you, when you try to access maybe if the port 444 is free you can access it but if your port 444 is used by any other device or any other protocol any other service you cannot access your firewall and when you try to access your firewall through your public IP yeah there is a chance you can access it using the same configuration but I when I when I try to configure for some customers I always have a problem like sometimes I cannot access the public IP using the desired configuration like when I try to access the public IP HTTPS the public IP colon 4444 I will get a page like uh, cannot find the reason behind is the ISP sometimes block the 444 port so the best solution for this one is um, you must change the port on your device I will later on I will show you how can you how you can change the port the port number you can change the port number to a different number and you can access it without any problem and also make sure after you log into your firewall you must make sure the device access through van zone because you must enable the HTTPS traffic through the van zone inside the device okay I will explain it later because I will show you how to do that one just give a basic introduction like this is what we have to do so the next video what we will do is we will I will download or I already download the virtual machine image for or my for my iPod uh, VMware I, you must need to have access to the partner portal or you must have access to your Sophos Center account or Sophos account where you can download either a hardware image if you are using a hardware I think I'm, I'm sure you don't need to have a hardware image but if you're using a virtual machine you must download the virtual machine settings from your software central account I already downloaded because of some security reasons I cannot show you like how I can go there and download it's, it's pure easy just log into the software account and go to my accounts network protection and uh, download which version or which kind of hypervisor you want or or you can download even the ISO which you can be used in case your firewall got uh, some kind of correction like if you cannot boot your device and you try all your troubleshooting steps nothing works so you can reinstall your firewall with the with the Sophos operating system image using a USB okay here I'm going to stop and I hope we can meet you in the second video with the installation and basic configurations